The ultimate tiny wolf is something that I've been long focused on obtaining, but up until now, the only way you could get something that would perform on the level of this would be to painstakingly put on some electron microscope like goggles in order to see all the tiny little pieces of soldering that you would have to do in order to get something that would perform like this. But what if you could skip to the end, pay to unlock, and have someone else build it for you? Well, now you can because 533 is selling these bespoke bind and fly tiny whoop racing crafts. Seb, it's about two pounds and they're going to give us better traction for the whole shot. Out of the box, you can get all the performance that will put something like the Mo Beetle to shame. 533 Racing Whoop Bind and Fly that you can build that has all of the best components out there, all of the best build techniques. This is Beta FPV's T all in one board and it has the express LRS receiver built in and it comes default on version three. So you can just add your bind flays and good to go. Don't have to flash it. In addition down here, you also see your external video transmitter. So not only does this actually weigh less than that bind and fly, but you have a much, much better video system. This is Team Black Sheep's Nano VTX on there right there. It comes with Beta FPV's new motors. These are 0702 27,000 KV, and you can see them made it up to these three bladed props right here, which are quite, quite nice. This is using the Meteor 65 Air Frame. It's a brand new frame that shaves a little bit of extra weight. Beta FPV's little tiny camera. It's the CO3-1200. TV line, so you actually gets a really nice image and it has this custom racing mount. You can see that it only just screws into these top little three screw holes right there, shaving weight. Of course, your red tiny little antenna right there is for your Express LRS connection. You are using a BT2 connector right here, and it's going to use BT2 batteries like this. Of course, you can use something like this ViFly Whoop Store charger right here that'll allow you to charge up to six at a time. I really like that it has a barrel input, an XT60 input, or a USB-C, so you can charge this with a power bank, a spare LiPo. Leave this close to my bench and I can use the same barrel connector that I use to power my TS100 soldering iron on the bench. How does this compare to something like this Happy Model Bind and Fly? They both have Express LRS built in, they both have an all-in-one and they both have similar performance there, but this is an 0702-23,000 KV motor and this Extra KV is going to be a little bit of extra juice and power. You can see the motor construction itself is much, much nicer on this beta FPV version, allowing you to run three bladed props right here is going to give you maximum grip in the air. This one actually will give you a really nice straight line performance with the two bladed setup, but the extra KV and power is really going to give you control, which you're going to want in racing. In a straight line though, I still give power just all around on this motor prop combo is just going to be better. Weight savings that they do by pulling out all the stops. They are direct soldering motors on both, which is a practice that you do want to do for any type of whoop race. And you're just going to get better performance. Now this is going to cost you about $120 where this is going to cost you about $190. So for that $70 difference, you are getting that extra performance. In addition, these all-in-one boards like this Happy Model 1 are known for having very sketchy video transmission. In other words, if you go to a race and you're putting out on one of these all-in-ones, people may be accusing you of broadcasting on multiple channels, sabotaging the competition. It's just sort of a gentleman's agreement that you're going to run an individual video transmitter for the most part. Um, it's okay if you're a noob and this is all you have to show up with, but once you graduate to actually want to compete, this is the type of machine that you're going to want to build. Now, you could build this and possibly save a little bit if you looked hard enough for sales. But soldering, breaking off the connectors on these all-in-one boards and soldering these tiny little wires and managing every little tiny screw and getting it all together is just such a pain. The Happy Model, Mo Beetle, and the Mobula 6, those are two that out of the box perform really, really well, right? So why wouldn't you take those to a race? The same way that you wouldn't take an Asian wizard to a five inch race expecting to come home with any sort of self-respect intact. And that's because bind and flies just can't put the same level of care into the component selection, the same level of care into the build itself. Disclaimer, 
533 does actually use majority beta FPV parts, but that's just because at the moment they have some of the best assemblage of racing ready parts that you can get, but they don't actually sell a bind and fly that has all of these special components collected. I went to the tiny whoop tent with this thing with the purpose of trying my hand at it. And of course those races never started on time. So I never actually did try it, but if I did, I would have brought a bind and fly. Now I'm feeling much more confident in flying acro around my house at breakneck speeds. And I actually have the power to control it. It's funny how all these whoops can go very, very fast in a straight line, but when they don't have that grunt in order to save yourself at the last minute, it's very hard to do those acro maneuvers inside. This allows you to do it. And it's going to be up to you to decide, would you like to go through the painstaking process of building your own racing tiny whoop, or would you rather just pay someone else to do it? Now, I'm of the opinion that when you're racing five inch, you need to be able to work on those quads. So it's better if you do build, but it's much easier to build components that are so much larger. And part of the reason why you need to be able to build a five inch is because you're going to crash it into a gate into a wall into a tree going nearly 100 miles an hour and everything's going to be de disintegrated and you're going to need to know how to put everything back together and how to fix and how to replace parts but for a craft of this size weighing 17 grams you're unlikely to be able to smash anything even in the hardest of crashes so it's really more of a build once maybe have a couple of spares but the maintenance and repair after even hard crashes is going to be less less frequent and that's why if you have more money and then time to sit on the bench you can get one of these and with the popular race gal game that i'm going to be getting into very soon you can actually practice your racing skills for a class that has some of the biggest prize pool purses all around you can travel to races to race in this exact craft winning thousands of dollars if you were willing to invest the time and the race scout game you can set up those obstacles for publicly published tracks and compete from the comfort of your very own home so if you are a work from home person and you want to be able to get some practice and you don't want to do all that practice on sim this is finally the best option i've never felt the need to have a premium whoop racing machine because i really didn't think the difference is that big but after flying this back to back with the Mo Beetle, the difference is incredible. A better power to weight ratio, better control. I typically would have wanted to go race on horizon level or auto level mode, angle mode, like a noob, because I just wasn't used to controlling things in acro. But with this level of control, it really feels almost like you're freestyling a five inch around your house with everything shaken shrunken down it wasn't so much the controls it was that the these smaller craft just didn't have the power to rate ratio to be able to save yourself at the last minute but now that this does have it and that muscle memory is all intact so i can go really full speed from one end of the house to the other with all this power and keep it under wraps what is the difference if you are not going to be a competitive racer you can go out and buy one of these mo beetles for 120 bucks and get probably 85 percent of the effect of the feel and if you're still a beginner pilot you don't really have to go and spend all of it but if you do want to feel the power the control that only something like this can achieve then there is no other option than to pay the money i'm a pretty good builder i probably built well over 100 quads but even this is impressing me with the level of attention to detail what do you think guys are you ready to go race tiny whoops 